Hi, welcome to Around the Old Town. I'm Bob Toomey. With me today is Alex Vizanson, Chairman of the Hug Foundation. Alex, thanks for coming on. Thank you, Bob. Appreciate it. Uh, we're here to talk about the Hug Foundation and the charitable event you have coming up. And uh, if you want to give us the, the details, we'd like to hear it. Well, once again this year, Bob, we're going to be bringing the Boston Bruins alumni down to Abington, Rockland area. Uh, this will be our fifth year doing it. And um, it's uh, the Hug Foundation's biggest fundraiser of the year. Uh, we sell ads in the program book, and uh, each player on the Hug Foundation team has to raise $1,000 through sponsors, selling tickets, or um, through ads in the program book. And that funds the Hug Foundation uh, throughout the year. We do other fun events, as you know, throughout the year, but this is our big event. And uh, this year the game is January 24th at 3 p.m. at Rockland Rink. Um, Rockland Rink has hosted it for us. This will be the fifth year, and uh, we're very thankful to John Cashman and Paul Fitzgerald from the rink that uh, do this every year for us. And uh, it's a great event. If you haven't been, you really should come. Tickets are only $10, and uh, there will be tickets at the door, and I'll go over in a few minutes other places we can get tickets. But it's always a great event, and if you've been there, you should really come this year because it's going to be a special, special day this year. Before we get into the details of that, can you tell us what the Hug Foundation does? The Hug Foundation was formed uh, about four years ago. It's my family's uh, charitable foundation. Uh, the Hug Foundation stands for Help Us Give, and we raise money throughout the year to donate to people in need, basically. It started when my sister was in the hospital uh, fighting cancer, and we realized the incidental expenses that are not covered by insurance, uh, parking every day, food every day, uh, missing uh, work and not getting your income. So we started it to help people uh, pay those expenses. But we've expanded over the years. We've um, bought uh, Christmas gifts for several families this past year and the year before. Um, we've helped out a couple of the uh, local Abington uh, youth basketball and softball teams. Uh, we purchased oil for a man that was fighting cancer to help him out. Um, you know, we paid mortgages. We also donate a lot of items uh, because of our connection with the Bruins and other uh, celebrities. We get a lot of memorabilia autographed and we donate that to other fundraisers so they can raffle it or auction it off. I know I was a recipient of that with the junior high, with the junior class last year, the current senior class. That was a right. big, you gave an autographed Bruins stick, That's which was right. the, probably the most yeah. popular item up there. And with our connection with the Bruins and other celebrities, uh, the Hug Foundation will purchase blank sticks and other items, baseballs, and then we have them signed. And that's a big part of our organization is donating items like that. Right, to other charities to so other they can charities. benefit as exactly. well. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's important. And that way you, you know where this money is going because $10 isn't all that much. I understand in today's economy it might be a little tough for some people, but it, it's a very worthwhile cause. And, and you get to meet the, the, the athletes themselves at these events are tremendous and they're really down to earth and they make time for you. They, they'll all sign autographs between periods. Yeah. Um, to anyone that's there, you get a, a program book, souvenir program book with your admission. Uh, no charge for the books. And uh, it's just a really, really great time that you yeah. get to mix and mingle with some of these legends. And uh, uh, these gentlemen, they've they're the type of uh, professionals that had to get up at 4.30 in the morning, their parents had to get up at 4.30 in the morning to drive them to the rink to, to skate and practice. And any of you hockey parents out there know what I'm talking about. Uh, so they, they're really down to earth. They're, they're not aloof. They're, they're just the most genuinely nice guys you can ever deal they with. They really are, and you've met most of right. them. Right. They're, they're just tremendous know. people, and they're, and they're worthwhile. They, I mean, their time, like anybody's, is valuable, but they're willing to come every year, five years now, right. to, to help the people in the Abington, greater Abington community. Um, but I'm, I'm glad you're doing so much good work with that foundation. It is so important that uh, in this time, especially with the economy, the way it's going now, people do need assistance. It is, and uh, we, we had several calls this Christmas for help, and we help everyone we can. Yeah. 
but uh, donations are slow this year. We really need some help with the donations. Yeah. Um, or, or just purchase a ticket for $10 sure. if you can. And the Cashmans, like you said, they donate the rink? And Cashmans donate the rink to us. Yeah. And, um, you know, J.P. Ryan's has been great to us. We hold several events there during the year, and he donates to us. So we, we have a lot of help from the community. We have a lot of volunteers from Abington and around, uh, yourself, your family, and, um, you know, we really appreciate everything Abington's done for us. Yeah. It's a given community, as you all know, with all the different successful foundations exactly. and, and fundraising groups that people are willing to give. And we work with the others. Uh, we've worked with the Christy Coombs right. Foundation. Uh, we've donated to the Vasilian Foundation. So uh, all of us have uh, worked very closely together. You have to pitch together. in to help each exactly. other out. Exactly. Yeah, because it is a good community goal. It's, right. Um, now we can talk to the specifics of the game. <laughs> okay. Uh, the game is January 24th. January 24th at the Rockland Rink at 3 p.m. Okay. And uh, tickets will be available at the door, but you can also buy them online. If you go to our Facebook page, facebook.com slash helpusgive, there is an Eventbrite link there where you can purchase tickets online. If you purchase them online, you're going to get through the line a lot quicker when the day of the game because uh, we are expecting a very big crowd this year. Nobody will be turned away, but we are expecting a big crowd. So if you can purchase the tickets online, it's going to get you into the rink quicker the day of the game. Um, this year, like last year, part of the funds are going to go to um, Dan Lacatura, who was a former Bruin and NHLer. He ran the Boston Marathon last year for Children's Hospital. Uh, Children's Hospital actually saved his sister's life with a brain tumor. So his sister and him run the marathon to raise money for Children's Hospital, and we'll be donating a portion of uh, proceeds to that like we did last year. Uh, we also do donated some money last year to uh, Nicole Jacobs, the reporter that ran the Boston Marathon for uh, Dana Faber, which is very close to our hearts. Uh, but I'd like to get into the roster if I can. Sure, that's, that's um, it. Yeah. This year, we are very, very thankful to have Ray Bork coming down and play. Ray doesn't do any of the games locally usually. He's a very busy guy. But uh, this year, he's agreed to do our game, and we are expecting a huge crowd. But we also have some other great legends, too. I mean, we have Ray Bork, Terry O'Reilly, Bob Beers, Andy Brickley, Frank Simonetti, Rick Middleton, Reggie Lemlin, your good friend Billy O'Dwyer. Born and raised with me up the, right up the street. Dan Lacature, as I mentioned, Bob Sweeney, who was the president of the Boston Bruins Charitable Foundation, Tommy Songan, Bruce Shoebottom, Kenny Hodge Jr., and Jay Miller. So... They're really bringing down a great group of guys. Those are all celebrities. They're, yeah, they're, they're all celebrities. Right, they're not guys who play one or two games. No. <laughs> and Rick Middleton told me recently that everybody wants to come to Abington, and he just can't fit everyone on the roster. Oh. They all enjoy coming down here. They've gotten to know a lot of the Abington residents and around here, and uh, they, they really have a good time when they come down here. I'm not surprised. We're going to have uh, some great raffle items, too. We'll be selling raffles at at the game. We're going to have a signed Terry O'Reilly jersey, a signed Ray Bork jersey, four tickets to the Providence Bruins, and uh, a signed hockey stick. So these are great, great items, and it's just uh, for a $5 raffle or a $20, whatever you want to buy. Sure. So. Now, are, how is going to play on the average team? They don't have to say names, but how, are you looking for players? Or? Uh, not at this point. Okay. We're, we're full. We actually have a waiting list now because okay. people want to play. So if anyone wants to play, you know, contact me after this game, and I'll put you on the roster for next year. We have several players coming back this year that have played all five years, but we have several new players, too. Good. Um, every year we bring in four or five new players. Yeah, you want some young blood, some new right. blood, sure. Well, I don't know about young, but some uh, new blood. <laughs> young by my standards, but new blood, yeah. Uh, but we, we have a great group of uh, guys that play for us. Who, they're called the Ice Huggers, and uh, appropriate. that's an appropriate name. Yes. <laughs> Seeing that we have seen some of them skate, they're hugging the ice frequently. <laughs> yeah, so, um, so that's uh, basically the game. The tickets are available, like I said, at facebook.com slash helpusgive. Uh, you can also go to icehuggers.com 
and make a donation in the name of one of the players or more than one of the players. Sure. Um, it's a great time and you really should come out, especially this year when we have so many superstars that are going to be there. Sure. This probably won't happen again. Right, with that group of celebrities, sure. Correct, yeah. Well, this is, it starts at 3 o'clock. Gates probably open around 2-ish, probably, or how do you? We do have um, a special VIP area this year, and unfortunately those tickets are already sold out. So we'll be opening up probably about 1 o'clock. 1 o'clock, okay. 1 o'clock this year, and uh, you should get there early. There'll probably be a game going on at 1 o'clock. Yeah, the youth hockey you, tends to be playing right. when we get there. But, um, you, you know, get your tickets, get your hand stamped, because uh, we are expecting a big line. Sure, an overcrowd with, with, those, with that list right. of celebrities. Um, the fountain, it starts at 3, probably go, what do you play, 20 minute? Uh, we two, play 20 two 30-minute halves. 30 minute halves. Two 30 minute halves. And you haven't seen it, it's worth a while because you see some of these guys skate. And, of course, the ice huggers do a good job, but when you watch these Bruins skate around, it's, it's, you know, it's like you and I walk it. I mean, yeah. they're just so graceful in the passes they make uh, without even much effort. Uh, they really put on the show. Yeah, and we have uh, Rick Cobb and an Abington guy. Uh, hopefully he can do it again this year. He's a, a referee clown, yes. and he does a great job. So it, it really is a fun event, and we really need the donations to help us give and that's why we came up with that name to help us give but all the money we raise throughout the year goes out to people in need or we purchase sticks or whatever to have them signed to give to people we take no salaries we work out of our office here in Abington we are a legitimate 501 C3 um, corporation which is a, a nonprofit charity all the donations are tax, tax deductible, deductible. So anything you can do can help us. Uh, we take no salaries. We we pay nobody. Everyone is a volunteer. Yeah. Uh, what who is on the board? Did you? Um, the board of directors consists of myself as chairman. My wife Lisa is the president. Uh, my son and his wife Brian and Jen. Uh, Roger Woods is on the board of directors. Wayne Page, Bruce Augusta, uh, Jim Timmons. And you stumped me. I shouldn't have asked uh, <laughs> if I didn't and, have the And Bill Hartnett. There you go. I believe, and Jim, oh, how could I forget Jim Coughlin? Yes. Not only on our <laughs> board of directors, but also uh, our accountant. Thank you, Jim. Yes. I would never forget you, Jim. You know that. <laughs> well, if you get the opportunity, January 24th, game starts at 3 p.m. Tickets are $10 a piece. It's a very, very worthwhile cause if you can come by and support the Ice Huggers and the, the Bruins alumni. They'd like the support, too. Uh, please come down and visit and maybe buy some raffles. And to get the um, opportunities to win are great, I mean, because there's so many great possible prizes that right. you can win. Yeah. And, and just to, to the, the atmosphere is just so positive and uplifting. And you see the Bruins, and they, like I said a couple of times earlier, that they're just so down to earth. You, you feel like they're your best friends forever. Right. They, they, they just truly give so much of their time to all these causes, and particularly Abington now five years. Most cities don't get them at all, right. never mind five. Right. Yeah, they actually play, uh, the Bruins alumni play about 20 to 25 games a year in the, mostly Massachusetts, but they go to Vermont, New Hampshire, Rhode Island, Connecticut, but mostly uh, in around Massachusetts. And uh, they have several games that they play over and over every year because the response is so good. And they also travel to Canada and up into uh, the Maritimes, and they'll do 20, 25 games a year up there. And that's all for charity. Every game they do is for charity, yeah. different organizations. So some of these players can play 40 to 50 games a year still. That's like a full-time job for some it, people. It really is. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Plus, they have their family obligations and their financial and, obligations. And they have day Bills jobs to pay. And, right, exactly. Yeah. So uh, they do give a lot of their time to charity. Uh, I don't know the numbers, uh, the, what they've raised over the years, but it, it's in the millions that the Bruins alumni have raised for other charities. And uh, the Bruins Foundation, I mentioned Bob Sweeney. Uh, Bob runs the Boston Bruins Charitable Foundation, and uh, they do a great job. And we've uh, modeled a lot of what we do after what Sure. Bob, well, they're successful, so right, you done. follow a successful And they've model. helped us along with our charity for many years. Yeah. I'm not surprised. I said they're, they're such giving people, and they really right. do give back to the community. Well, again, January 24th, 3 p.m. start. Try to get there early. 
Ray Bork will be amongst the, the Bruins alumni and uh, come out and give our support to Hug Foundation. And remember, it is a very, very worthwhile charitable cause. Uh, any other groups that you can think of, too, that, that it's that time of year that people just money's tight and people could use some help. And if you're, you're able, you're in the position to help people, please do. Uh, on that note, I also want to remind people that the uh, food pantry, Abington Food Pantry, is still in operation 24-7 type of deal. Uh, just because it's Christmas is over doesn't mean they don't need food to supply Abington and Greater Abington families. Uh, the food pantry is located on Plymouth Street, the St. Bridget's Complex. If you can donate to them, either paper goods or food goods, please do. If you can donate cash, they actually have a, a deal, I think it's with the Greater Boston Food Market, where they get like $7 value for every dollar they spend. So if you could help out there, that would be tremendous. If you have a cause that you want to advertise here, please let me know. Uh, it's Bob Toomey. My home number is 781-792-1957. That's the best way to reach me. Those of you who know me know I don't use the computer well. Uh, but we'd like to broadcast things like the Hug Foundation, the Coombs Foundation, the Vasilian Foundation, just to let people make them aware of the different charity events that are going on and the fun times. You know, it's like the, we time. have a great time at the Bruins game, right. and also the Coombs Foundation when they have the Family Day in September, and it just it, it's very worthwhile causes. They had the Vasilian Run, and that was a, a great day. And it's just so uplifting to know that the people are giving back to the community. Uh, if you want to uh, send, send the show to somebody or talk about this show to somebody, you can go to Abington Cam. Dot org in case they want to see this and hear directly you know what Alex and I talked about. Uh, again, anybody that wants to try to get some publicity for their charitable event, please let me know. Well, I just wanted to thank you, Alex, for coming on. Thank you, Thanks Bob. for all you thank do in the community much. and all the other charitable groups that you give and, and help out Abington people. Thank you. Uh, just remember that it is now 2015, and uh, this is a charitable, a federally taxed charitable, so you can get a tax donation yes. deduction on your donation, so please keep that in mind. And uh, just try to help out your neighbor. Well, I want to thank Justin Shannon in particular for coming out and helping us set this up and, uh, and being the, the producer of the show. And Alex, and thanks for coming on. Thank, thank you, Abington. Hope you have a very healthy and prosperous 2015. Thank you.